everyone, Dr. Susan Brown here, the director of Center for Better Bones. This week we got some questions about fractures. People wrote in to us on Facebook with certain questions in response to some of my blogs and just questions in general. The questions about fracture, they're always tricky. These two particular comments or questions are quite tricky. The first person writes, I now have four fractures of my right foot and two on my left foot. My bone doctor says this is not from osteoporosis and my podiatrist, podiatrist says it is. I never read about osteoporosis fractures on the feet. Please let me know the truth about this. Thanks, Bev. Well, Bev, uh, any kind of fracture that occurs without significant trauma is really generally considered an osteoporotic fracture. We think of the spine and the hips because those are dramatic uh, evidence when we just fracture a hip from a simple fall or a spine because we do some simple weight lifting that isn't high trauma. But actually, I, I would be concerned. I would definitely have a full workup for looking for the causes of bone weakening because your feet bone are weak. And uh, that's quite a bit of to have four fractures in the feet. That's quite a lot. They find this in the military, that there's a lot of stress fractures when people who aren't used to doing workouts get doing a lot of workouts. They often occur, occur more frequently in thin individuals. But Bev, I would say, number one, I would suspect these are osteoporotic fractures. They're certainly, they seem to be low trauma fractures. It doesn't seem like they happen with an accident or anything. I would suggest you look at our, our write-up on the medical osteoporosis workup where we're actually trying to help you understand the causes of bone loss and ask the doctors to test for the causes of bone loss. Uh, this is a document you'll find on our w website, the medical osteoporosis workup. And I'd ask your doctor to do a comprehensive workup for, for, for osteoporosis and begin the whole Better Bones program, the diet, the supplement, the pH, the exercise, all that you're going to need. But there's probably some cause for this bone weakening. The second writer is a person who equally has a complicated situation. I have suffered two compression fractures, uh, thoracic 5 and 12, while out jogging, doing a 5-mile jog back in August. This was a day after lifting weights at the gym and doing yoga. I have osteopenia according to my scan. My primary doc wants to put me on Boniva or Fosamax. Is it possible to build bone density without correct weightlifting and yoga moves? I've learned that I was lifting weights and doing yoga incorrectly. And then the listener or the reader of our blog wants to know, is Boniva a foregone conclusion? So to you, I would say that you have demonstrated some bone weakness with these two fractures. Really, uh, I would say even though you were lifting weights and doing yoga, there's some bone weakness here. The first thing I would ask about your general nutrition status, your general strength, your general weight. So here I would suggest that the first step and really the first step in the Better Bones program is to find out the causes of bone weakening. I think it's fair to say you have some bone weakening. Um, it's not my role to to try to t estimate how weak, but certainly the first step in the Better Bones program would be to go to the doctor, take our medical osteoporosis workup, get all these tests that look at bone weakening, everything from vitamin D, to parathyroid hormone, to a loss of calcium in the urine, to cortisol, many, many t things to find out why the bones appear to be weak. And I think we can fairly say they are weak. Then the next step is to, is to nutritionally and, and lifestyle ways to start the Better Bones program, do the alkaline diet. You might get our support kit, actually, because our support kit it has all the all the materials, the books, the our pH test kit. You need to alkalize your diet. You need to do the proper supplementation. I would even consider stress reduction and visualization meditation. And you may possibly need to work with the drugs. 
certainly I cannot tell you whether or not to use bone drugs, but I would say you should explore everything possible to understand the causes of bone loss and then do a strong nutrition program, our Better Bones program, a six-step program to maximize bone health. And if you'd like any more details on that, just give our office a call. Okay, nice talking to you.